Well, here in Germany, millions of people are preparing to celebrate the Christmas holidays against a backdrop of the COVID-19 pandemic. Tighter rules on social gatherings will come into place next week, as Simon has just been reporting, with the country bracing for a fifth wave of infections fueled by the rapidly spreading Omicron variant. We gauged the mood among people and asked how it's impacting their plans. The bags are packed. There are presents to wrap and trains to catch. At Berlin's main station, the Christmas getaway is on and travellers are reckoning with looming restrictions and household headaches. I'm looking forward to celebrating with the kids. I just have to sort out our Christmas tree stand. It can only hold trees up to two metres, but our tree is three metres high. I have to figure that out now. I think you are alluding to whether the corona situation is a burden, and of course this is a depressing situation. But there are plenty of other world events that don't make you feel happy. The highly contagious Omicron variant has cast a shadow over this year's celebrations and made the journey home on busy trains fraught with risk. At the Lucia Christmas market nearby, Corona continues to loom large. But it appears to be no match for Glühwein and festive spirit. People like it when I show this one. Traders like Hosima have had to contend with the threat of cancellation as markets were shut down elsewhere in Germany. That one is very popular. There's also another version. We are glad that we were allowed to be open, that we were allowed to sell. I can't complain. Everything is great. For this gin maker, the market caps off a rocky year. Problems in global supply chains forced him to rethink his business. Yeah, we had to change a lot. We, we, now we manufacture in Germany completely um, and we do some uh, uh, craftsman's work on our own. So we, we manufacture goods on our own completely now to uh, make sure that we can deliver our goods. All over the market, stories of people making the best of the situation. The children and grandchildren are far away. Of course, that's a bit sad. That's why we came to the Christmas market, to soak up the atmosphere. There are just two of us at Christmas. The family is quite large, but all far away. And so we make ourselves comfortable at home. As Germany and the world heads into another year of uncertainty, one thing seems indisputable. No one knows when the COVID-19 journey will end.